Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of A Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, I'm the man on the sticks. Dude, you have, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have? You have a Xbox controller in your hand. I do, that's very <laughs> nice assessment. No, I don't know, what, oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we're playing uh, Valhalla. Yeah, we're dude. Playing, we're playing oh, it's it. It's a nice little, like, so, ram straw statue. Yeah, so I, f I found out how to work the village, all right? You go on raids, and you get supplies, and you get raw resources, and each point is like a village site. So I got off cam, I got, what do you call this? I got a barracks over here, and I can actually I actually can have, like, a sidekick that you get to build your own sidekick. This is essentially your village? Yes. Like, you own it? Jomsviking. Yeah. So the Jomsviking is my... I can summon my Jomsviking. Uh, okay. <laughs> and I made, like, an online, like, freaking bodyguard. There she oh is. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> there nice. There she is. There she blows. Wait, you got, like, a... You got like a dual girl. Yeah, so you can like equip her with stuff and like move stuff around. Okay, so oh. you've already like set this girl up. Yeah, that's all right, nice, dude. Much. All right, so that's my Yang's Viking. It's like you used to have a crew on your ship, except this is a like companion. <laughs> Ooh, which is it your lover? I'd like to uh, organize. No, we're not lovers, Jonas. We're just friends. Uh, and <laughs> no, that's my crew. There's all types of stuff that you can do. Um, leave. Nice, dude. But, uh, so I've upgraded, what is this? This is the, uh, the shop, the shipyard, the general store, the hunter's guild. Dang, dude. And now I found, and then I found out through my playing, is that the only way you can get to the next part is you have to unlock this guy. Okay. So, so we, like, did you do all this on another big chunk of stream, or yeah. did you just playing off hand, just playing by yourself? Yeah, it came out, or it will it will come? No, it already came out. It was on the Saturday stream. Oh, okay. So it'll come out. Um, I got you. Yeah. On so, like, kind of like you did the week before, you have like a big chunk of play that you just put out in one big. Yeah. Chunk. Yeah. There may be more. I don't know. Somebody it's, else. Somebody watched uh, some of that big old chunk, dude. Somebody's like, look at TNT <coughs> unlocking all the wealth. <laughs> Well, I Why you hope got they enjoy stuff, it. Dude? So I'm already ready, dude. I, I this came. Is what, this is what you gotta do to unlock stuff. Hidden, yeah. Hidden ones, burrow. I came. I came prepared. I went and got the materials necessary to get us to the next level of the game. Nice, dude. Wow, a nice little green hue, dude. There's already <laughs> moss on it, like it's been around for centuries. <laughs> It's algae ridden. Yeah, dude. I don't know. That is an ugly green. Though. If I fresh built the house and had algae on it, I'd be kind of <laughs> pissed. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. You got it. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Okay. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk uh... with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. It's called a penis. A gift. <laughs> I cannot show you here. <laughs> See? You walk with me? Why don't you come behind this building real quick, Cassandra? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess I'm ready. <laughs> I will. Lead on. He's like, oh. He's like, oh, open your mouth and close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the girthy surprise. Oh, dude, I'm definitely going to read that on stream. But there it is. You read it in an old English accent? Uh, no. It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will He's happy, dude. Yeah, dude. I am reluctant He's walking with purpose, though. Look at him. You made high from happy. To please pass him. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A weariness. <laughs> is that a question? Shut up. No. Only an observation. Oh, this is what the Seth Rollins buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, gotcha. These are the assassin guys. You can tell because of the white. Oh, we take a real boat, huh? Hythrum, are you going to try to slip me, slip my disc? What? He just climbed up your back. It does only prolong stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. There we go. 
Jeez. You got unnecessarily wet <laughs> in all the wrong spots. I wanted to lather up before me and Hytherm got down to action. How fast boy's going, dude. I know. And what is this gift you wish to give to me? My, I'm surfing the... It's a gift you must give yourself. What? For riddles. What fun you across have. Across the street, I say it another way. A gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Weird. Still no clearer. It is a weird. thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies. But an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Yeah. Like so your using meditation, the... it centers our minds. The mail and the hand in the our hands hammer. And purges <laughs> fear from our hearts. And He's going to make me an assassin, Jonas. In flight or in but stealth. You're a Viking. You call it a leap. Be an We're climbing a rather assassin steep hill. Viking. There it is again. The shadow of a I doubt. I don't have any doubt, Hythrum. Nearly there. Our yeah, destination be. is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise. All right, so I gotta jump off a cliff. To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace what is that? the hope that Dude, death you will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Is this like the drink this... the curse Kool-Aid thing nothing. again? Yeah, Jim Jones, dude. Our deaths dude. are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Wow. And your mind is already attuned to my lesson. <laughs> Imagine somebody approaches you with this line of rhetoric for their religion. Yeah. <laughs> you're just like... Well, they tell you that you want a gift. Yeah. <laughs> First they make a sexual comment towards me and then they take me out into the wilderness after they take the boat just outside of like uh your shot. No, like <laughs> <laughs> it, I was gonna say like public waters. What do you call that? International oh, waters. Yeah, yeah. Then <laughs> they take me on their boat in the international waters. Oh, they have maritime law. <laughs> first. On my word you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want He's me like, to jump right. from here? Yes. I've already done this a bunch. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! <laughs> Hi, he winks. He winks. <gasps> So wait, he's like, I have a present for you. Come with me to this weird place, Maritime Law. Pig-headed fool. <laughs> and then... Pagan fool. <laughs> and then he's like, no, no, I don't have a present. A perfect fool. It's form. you. <laughs> and how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and okay. vigor and perching of fear. If there wasn't the hay there, you would have died. Uh, See yeah. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And I thank think, you, Eivor. I think that was the first time I've ever dived like that, though. You called this leap oh, of faith like a sacred a new, rite. Uh, a new thing. All hidden ones I know, I've fallen like that, but I've never done the dive like know, that. It is a rite of initiation mm. now you have the swan just death. before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? Dude, you might try. Just, I'll just swim. Did he say the Christian Jesus? Yeah. I'll just swim it. He's waiting for you. The Order of Ancients. Yes. Oh, we're oh we're going this way, so we're going back home. Seriously? It's like when you drive the car too fast. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. <clears throat> The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. Mm. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes, Yet look more closely, and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Elder Order Dorito has corrupted guys. all. The Order. 
yeah, killing we, kings and ish. I hope we get some great. You know what? The best addition to this is a guy I can just stab on the way in. That is a date. <laughs> he just falls over and then you come back. He's back. Yeah, they need like another one over here for sure. Oh, yeah. Because, like, like, da, 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 da. I definitely need something to stab every time I'm in the city. Yeah, I agree. It is just nice to just put that blade into somebody's back. Mm, I thought you were talking like here. hypothetically to about your and Jimmy. eliminate the order of ancients in England in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards yeah. this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England, <clears throat> and you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You their pocket. There is a Dorito. You should begin Bring in it London. To me. <laughs> I have credible reports that the order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Randy about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this. <sighs> Thanks, Hythe. Wow, this is oh. a lot different than I've ever seen. No, dude, this is a new thing now. So now I have to find the uh, order. This is wait, this is the exact same menu from the last one, right? Same layout. Oh, it's a little different layout because there's yeah. the, the main person's at the bottom rather than yeah. the center. All right, so the Order of the Ancients. The Order of the Ancients is a secret society of pagans. Cultists. I mean pagans. <laughs> that, don't don't I can barely see the screen and you're gaslighting me. <laughs> that, that has been infiltrated every level of society to spread <laughs> their diplomat their dogmatic world of view. Uh sure. Oh, to root them out, you can get clues. Get I've never heard of that. <laughs> it's the same game. Zealots hired mercenaries to assist in the order and and Force their doctrines. Decrees. Decrees. All right, so finding, finding and eliminating them, them will provide clues on the identity of the order members. Wait. You saw This it. is a very unique uh, and new and different. <laughs> clues by forging alliances, exploring England, and assisting <laughs> those in need. What? Oh, wow. Okay. For all those clues, you find a particular identity. Okay, so this is the same. There's a hierarchy. Assassinating, aging the peace, priest, overall grand magister. Okay, oh, I wow. got it. Look this at that. Is, There's five main guys, so instead of being in a circle, they're in a line at the bottom. Oh, so I already got Kajordi or Kotve. Oh, God. I can go find all of these people and kill them, dude, and I get the freaking Sinister Six. Yeah, I wonder what you get for. Uh... Like, what'd you get in the last one when you got enough Doritos? Like, new abilities that did some... Oh, your your main blade or, like, knife or something got better, remember? You had, like, a, uh, your assassin knife or some ish got there was, better? There was something that got better. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, it was, was something that you could knife? never turn off, but it always would go to level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever it was. Yeah, I don't remember. You're absolutely right, though. I do remember that. God, God. this is so new. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And after playing this on uh, for a good expanded period of time, this is not Assassin's Creed at all. Like, <laughs> they're they're a hundred percent right. The people who told me that this is not like this isn't Assassin's Creed, this really is not Assassin's Creed anymore. It's not. It, it used to become be like a Grand Theft Auto <laughs> game, but in it, wilderness. <laughs> like it shouldn't be called Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> It just shouldn't be called that. Yeah, because... well, it's just like they use the they use because they know the series, so they just keep it. Oh, yeah, booby they're... trap a dead body. Yeah, so you can. Oh yeah, I just took the booby trap a dead body because I want to do that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, they're dude. like, hey, what's wrong with my friend? Boom, and then they die from it. Assassination damage. Yeah. Boom, dude. So I'm gonna go. I think this way. Oh, just to open up the new. Yeah. So this is the this is not Assassin's Creed anymore. It really isn't. It feels like a totally different game. Assassin's Creed used to be like there was a city full of guys, and then you would like you would walk along with them and blend in to like avoid uh, like Being getting hot. yeah to get into like an area. You would blend in with like a group of guys, and then you just like climb over them. There's none of that anymore. Now I can just run in there and just attack everything with this. There's no consequences to your actions. Is this like The Witcher? More than, like, Assassin's Creed? Yeah, I've never played I'm, The Witcher, so... I'm gonna have to say no, because of the fact that there's, like, no... Concept. So, I was exploring in an area that that's not familiar with me, 
And then I was like trying to sneak around to get the, all the items without being caught. And then I realized I was like, wait a minute. I can just run in there, grab the item, run out. Jonas trap. And, and nobody says anything. <laughs> nobody does anything. So it's like Odyssey without the police. Yes. Because in Odyssey, if they caught you stealing or like whatever, they'd come after you and they'd send one of the big boys. They don't even send big boys after me right now. And it may be because I'm too early in the game and I've just been like moving around doing like extra stuff that they wouldn't expect. Well, yeah, you just opened up the Dorito boys. But it just it just feels I swear to God, if you kill one of these men and they give you a triangle. (laughs) What do you mean you're done? (laughs) Done, dude. I'm just like, I'm just going to start calling it Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Dude, I don't even know if it's Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Just call it Odyssey. (laughs) Just call this one Valhalla. Valhalla. Yeah, we're playing Valhalla. (laughs) Just because this, it's really not Assassin's Creed anymore. But, you know. I will not say that it's not fun to play. It is 100% fun to play. But, Jesus, man, the departure from the original source material is just... It is. By the way, I found this secret cave. Is it where you can die? Uh, no, it's not where I can die. It's where I can just complain more about the game, I guess, really, and then call it fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, you you know, you know stuff that that you like to complain about, but oh, you still I complain call about it, everything, dude. You like you like Madden, right? Oh, so much. Do you? <laughs> you buy every one for the channel, and then you complain about it being for the channel. I could I could still be playing Madden 06, and it would be the same game I'm playing now. <laughs> <laughs> At least this is like new weapons and new like wares and different areas. Madden is like, oh, it's literally the same graphics, different names. That's it, dude. Everything else is the same. Oh, no, really? So you, you've been playing the same game for a while. 30 years, yeah, dude. No. Cool. I mean, well, let me take that back. Because it really was a different game until it hit about PS2. That's when it really kind of changed and got like... A little more in depth because it was it could handle and the only thing that's changed from ps2 is that it's the graphics are better and there's like a little bit more options to do plays and yeah. things. other than that it's basically the same ever since you get out of 16 bit but like how would you say the graphics have improved over like the last five years negligible at best okay. <laughs> like fair like i mean you look at madden like oh three you got like uh, pentagram heads and stuff. You know what I mean? You had pentagram heads? <laughs> Wait, pentagon heads. I meant. <laughs> oh, totally polygon different. heads. Po- like pent- they were like just like uh, <laughs> po- <laughs> pentagram. Yeah, just like square, like sharp angles. Yeah, like, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. Oh, and now they look like real faces, dude. Like, yeah, they look like the player. Like, oh, dude, but, like, do I care if it looks like Michael Vick's face? No, not at all, you dude. You don't? I don't. I they could all have care. no face for all I care, dude. Just throw the ball and catch it and do good, dude. <laughs> Just throw the ball and dude, catch it and do good. If they could good. take the exact game of Madden and take all the player names out but keep the teams and it was yeah. like 20 bucks instead of 60 I would buy that. <laughs> I don't need to use <clears throat> Deion Sanders. I don't care. Is it, But the game isn't fun anymore. Why? I'm asking you that. Oh, well, I... I uh, I feel like if I played the game off the channel by myself that I like I've been using that same playbook for a long time and now it's gotten to the point where it's like automatic. I would probably switch it up and completely change my play style so it became challenging again. Because the play style that I use and the way the, the way I play the game has yeah. become I've like I've got like the ten thousand hours there. Oh. So, <laughs> well, so I need to change it up and do like West Coast, dude. Just change it up. Then. I just know what works, dude. Like, yeah, but change up the culture. Cause like here's my here's my thing. If I can take a running back and smash into a guy, and it looks really cool because I can lay him out. Yeah. But I can't keep going very far because I slow down, or I can barely lose any speed and spin out and then run for a touchdown. Which one am I gonna do? Do the spin out and get the TD. So, because I know it works better. But I could change it up and use a power back instead of an elusive back, and then it changes the way I play the game completely because then I'm doing more of a trucking and, you know, but... (laughs) You know what works, dude, do it. 
<laughs> it's fair, man. It's fair. Yeah. It's fair. Well, that'd be like you play Overwatch a lot. It'd be like you figure out a really good strat with your ball and, and then, then go, well, I'm doing I, too good. I'm just going to play something else. And then I switch to Torbjorn five years right. into the game. Or you just stop using Which that is, trick with the ball and start trying to play him different. And you're like, no, I, I know what works best. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I do switch characters, though. I, 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 you know, sometimes you got to, man. Yeah, but once you learn a, the best strat with a character, you keep that strat. You don't, uh, like, stop using a good strategy. Uh, no, you kind of have to always do that in Overwatch. Because the meta changes and the... Because, yeah, characters constantly change, and you just have to perfect your play style. Nobody plays the perfect play style, therefore you're always changing the way you play. In order right. to play better. Yeah, because if too many people start doing the same stuff, they, they edit the character to make it not as effective. Yeah. And then, they, then you have to do something else. I would say, like, switching your playbook is like switching the places where you're strong and weak at, which is kind of like switching to a different character, maybe in the same ideal. You're playing the same game, but you you have to play it from different angles. You right. Have to play, right, right, you right. You have to play, if you're, if you're playing a healer in Overwatch, you got to play back. If you're playing a tank, you play front. Playing right. DPS, you go for kills. So it's kind of like you're changing either your your running or your your passing to be better in certain areas. So yeah, sometimes you gotta switch characters, yeah, man. It's just it's just like I feel like it's like when you know something works and it's super efficient and like they, there isn't anything stopping you from doing it. It's like why handicap yourself and play it a slower, <laughs> less effective way? Exactly. So it in Mad never changes the game, it really so doesn't. it doesn't really matter. A very interesting conversation today, Jonas. On the next episode. All right, that's all time we have for today's episode of Valhalla. Teenager, there Valhalla you go. <laughs> there you go. Va uh, just call it Valhalla. Yeah. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. If you've already done those things, he does Twitch stuff. <laughs> TNT Dynamite, I'll play this Aww. on Twitch. Uh, you can probably see me after this recording. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> TNT oh, yeah, because he's come out early in the morning. TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town on Twitch.tv. Heck yeah for Jonas. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out.